This is the Suron Light B. They're made in China and they are pretty fantastic. Pros are sound, it's really quiet, uh, which means that I can go through um, you know, places where, I'm be mindful of what I say now, um, perhaps I shouldn't be, technically, if it's actually a motorbike and people might get grumpy, certainly they would chew your head off if they saw you ripping past on a noisy smoker, but these things you poodle up to people and for the most part, I've had quite a few chats with people where even when they've looked at it, they just see it as a mountain bike. <laughs> the whole point of it is what I love about this baby. That's huge because that means you can practice in your backyard, you can find some mountain bike single track places and go on there and nobody seems to mind too much. I will say part of why they don't mind too much is another point I'll get to later. They're not super powerful so the back wheel is, doesn't break loose a lot um, and that's a huge advantage if you want to be practicing trials and stuff um, and a huge advantage if you want to be on uh, mountain bike tracks where you're not ripping it up much um, but for some people they're like where's all of the power? Oh. Oh, so close. So close. Sound is my one of the main reasons I like this bike. The other one is weight. It is pretty light. It's not super, super light. Um, you're not going to sort of want to put it on your back and go up a hill with it. But what makes it really light is things like getting it on and off a truck if you want to, where I would always need a ramp or, and or somebody else to help me. Now I can pop this up standard on its back wheel so it can do pivot turns super easily. Just that and it's standing on its back wheel which is fantastic. I even maneuver it through the house to um, park it at night so it's not parked out in the rain. I have had a few niggles with it. I think most of them are user error. One is there's a little clip that holds the back um, brake pads in place. For some reason I've broken those um, and so the back brake is quite spongy at the moment. The brakes aren't super great, particularly I found if I get a splash of water on them, you really want to dry them out before you need them at some stage because I did a bit earlier, I'm up here at the farm, where I went through a, a gully, splashed some water, went up a hill and then went straight to go back down a fairly steep gully and it was just picking up speed. So brakes not super strong. Um, and I do have a bit of an issue with the primary drive belt is getting frayed and seems a bit offset, but that could have been because in my interest of trying some trial stuff, I did dump the bash plate on a rock which bent it straight in. I would recommend if you're doing that trials or enduro stuff where you're log hopping or particularly rock hopping, you probably want one of the aftermarket um, pads. The other, since it seems we're on to the um, cons, is for the size, it's a bit small for me. Uh, I've still got it totally stock at the moment and if I get on it, you can see just if I sit here, you can see the geometry is pretty tight. I find that if I want to go full lock either side, I've got to make sure my knee's already out, which really it should be, but it's, it's quite a tight bike. That triangle is very small. Um, probably built for the frame of the Chinese person. You can get riser bars, you can get larger front wheels. There are actually um, quite a few mods for it. So most of the things I would put here as cons, uh, most of them you can mitigate with getting some aftermarket accessories. So uh, you can get a 21 inch front wheel. One of the other issues I have with this is the back wheel, um, back tire as it is, not a huge amount of grip on it. You regularly find you're just spinning it up in, in mud or something like that. Um, again, <laughs> you can get a smaller, fatter, Musa um, enduro rear. Challenges I do face with the Suron is, it's got a cut off for the throttle, so if you have this situation where you're stuck facing uphill, what you'd typically do is front brake, back brake, roll on throttle, and once you can feel the throttle rolling on, that's when you release. But here, it'll cut the throttle all together if you've got your brakes on. So you've got to get used to sort of um, keeping the throttle all the way off, dumping the brakes, then you start rolling back and then roll on throttle, which is kind of tricky. I'm not sure if there's a way to disconnect that. That wasn't meant to happen. Cut. It's got quite a good bit of power and range. So the range, I've been riding it all day and it's now at 47%. Maybe not quite all day, but most of the afternoon I've been 
going through some tricky tracks. It seems to actually quite like low speed, high torque stuff. I find it zip, the battery zips down if I'm getting it to full speed on a road somewhere. What I'm thinking of doing though, because I have this issue with power, it's not so great at hills, is what many people do, which is get a larger rear sprocket which is great because I don't need the top end. I don't need to be going at 80 kilometers an hour when I want to be practicing popping over logs or practicing wheelies or slow speed balance. So um, that's another con, but again, something you can mitigate with getting some aftermarket kit. Uh, battery life, I think is pretty good. As I was just saying, um, I find it fantastic. Some people for them, it's too short. You can get larger batteries. Some people for them, the power is too small, even with the larger sprocket so they get an upgraded controller. I'm going to look at that stuff in the future, but really happy with it as it is. I think it's fantastic. I can practice it. I can pop wheelies on it just fine. For the most part, I think this bike is absolutely fantastic, particularly, particularly for the price point. I got this thing for, I think, around 5,000 Australian dollars. Landed all the way to my house. Well, not delivered to my house. I picked it up, obviously, but that is pretty amazing in terms of price, I think, because you look at the next competitor on the market, which is like Electric Motion or Cake Calc, whatever they call that bike, and they're three times the price, some of them, two times, two and a bit times the price, which is huge. So sure, yeah, you get a better bike, but you could get two of these. You could absolutely wreck it, get another one, and then get all of the aftermarket accessories. So I really highly recommend the Suron. I think it's a really fantastic bike for practicing single track and trails. You'll find it a bit underwhelming if you want to be doing flat track or motocross and things like that. So for the purposes I got it, I really love it. Highly recommend it. Go out and get yourself one. Just looped it. Just did a wheelie and looped it and came down. Oh, flat on my back. Oh. It looked very good. Did it? Yep. Did you catch it? Nope. You okay? Yeah. Have you had enough? Yep. Okay, now. <laughs>